Hey, hi Aries. It's Elle here to do your mid-April uh, general reading. I want to say thank you to all the Aries who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Also, um, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Aries. Okay, turn up for me. All right, or turn down. Uh, okay, so let's get into it. We'll save the announcements for the end. It looks like some of my Aries are really just at a place of release. Some, or if some of you are at a place of, you know, it, I worked so hard to get here. And you're at a different status, different level. You worked so hard to get there. Some of you may be um, graduating soon, receiving degrees or something of that nature. Some of you, you work in film, something about film. Let's see. All right, so let's pull some cards here for my Aries. Aries. Don't you hate when people say it like that? Nine of Cups, Nine of Water, Nice. Wish fulfillment here. So this speaks of, of course, um, what you wish for is coming in or make a wish it could come in for you um it's something that you feel you are without or you're separate from separated from but it's here you just need one more cup manifest three of cups wow uh definitely something you're creating here it could be with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If not, there, there, there will be reason to celebrate here. You may be celebrating. <laughs> it's your birthday, right? Oh. And then here is you, Aries. You flip right on out. King of Earth. Male or female. Going after your heart's desire. Um, just having fun. You may even be reconciling with some people around your birthday. You know, old friends, old family members. Um, they hear about you doing something for your birthday or, or whatnot, um, or for Easter. We do have that. Ten of air. It looks like some ending to some hardship is over. Yeah, some of you are just really allowing ending to happen. Let's see. The hangman. This could be with a Piscean person, or you you definitely seeing something clear and. It, a new perspective about you're also letting things just happen around you because you're about to make a, a decision and you want to make sure that you're seeing things correctly and you're not overreacting or um, interfering or interacting with what is supposed to happen naturally so it's like I'm taking my hands off the wheel where I go I don't know but I definitely know I'll be ready to make decisions, whatever that may be. The Wheel of Fortune has popped out off camera for you. Definitely ending some cycles here. Um, release. So I'll keep here. Release. Release. And it um, looks like the wheel starts to turn in your favor when you do so. It may be in love. You may be focused on love. Or emotion things that stir your emotions your intuition is is high um it could definitely be dealing with a piscean person some of you just you know really yeah now here comes the sentimental feelings about the release the five of earth messenger of air but you're determined to make something happen to push forward this could be in job, this could be in love, this could be in any arena, any sector of your life. But there's there's ending um, and release of something that you were holding on to. A hermit, yeah. You may even be going to someone for spiritual advice or just going off to yourself to make sure that when you do release, when you go to the 10, the will of fortune. Um, you make the right decision. So you'll just be really self-reflection. Self-reflecting here. Four of air. Yeah, prayer, meditation. Sitting by yourself. Some of you, it's in regards to the culmination of this is good. This is time for celebration. Like graduation and so forth. Um, or, or 
some big milestone or accomplishment it just puts you in a place of reflecting on what's next let's see what we got for this could be in love two of water um something you've been praying for is coming in or someone you've been praying for comes in now this two of water also could be in the buying and the selling commerce uh, some of you could be entrepreneurs this could be a decision to do away with something altogether or to start something let's see what do we have for Aries what else can we tell Aries what else can we tell my Aries my Aries Wow, and then the Two of Cups flips out again. Sorry about that, guys. The Two of Cups flips out again. This is definitely something about love. Some real partnership comes in for you. Something, somebody or something you wished for. Yeah. Some of my areas are laying down one situation, one love situation, and going to the next. I mean, that's what's making you really happy. Who or what is this Two of Cups for the Aries? Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups. That's what I said. You cutting out one situation to have fulfillment somewhere else. You could be cutting out a family dynamic. You could have been married. Or just have children and home and you know assets there with someone else and you might be cutting it out to go to another queen of cups again you very focused on love the giving and the receiving of love here you showing up in your reading Taurus also knight of pentacles somebody something long-standing Took a long time to come in. Justice. Some of you are waiting for money and or assets in regards to a divorce. Nine of swords. Long time coming. High anxiety about the ending. Am I going to ever get this? For some of you, it's was this person ever going to come and offer me anything solid and true? Looks like you'll be having a change of journey. You can't see what's before you just yet you can't see what's before you just yet but the cards ask you to have strength and knowing that something is turning in your favor the wheel is turning for you the seven of wands the ten of wands Whatever this is you're releasing, it's like it was so burdensome and it was like an uphill battle. It was a lot of defending and blocking and being on guard because you were trying to maintain some level, some status, some title, some money you were fighting for some large sum of money because you right now you feel at a loss but what you wish for what you hope for what fulfills you on an emotional level ace of cups comes in for you you're just gonna hang around for a little while longer and see that it's coming something invigorating igniting motivating comes in for you whatever this is it, it takes you to a real solid foundation you release and then something rushes in something you do something you create wow it takes you to the nine of pentacles type of person waiting for the tenth pentacle um, having that longevity and stability either in partnership or alone okay uh what's the advice for the Aries. I can get the card, right? What's the 
the advice for the Aries. Some of you, it's like you have something you're doing. The buying and the selling, the hand to hand, uh, merchant type stuff. Some of you are in film, something really big happened for you. Some of you are graduating. Some of you, it's like, whew, it's over now. And you're focused on the next. Now that could be in love, that could be in career, finances, relationship. I don't know. Let's see. What's the advice for my ears? We've got our angel answers card. What's the advice for my ears? Okay. Forgiveness. Hmm. So for some of you who are releasing other people, uh, divorcing, uh, maybe you need to forgive yourself. Forgiveness is here. It's up to you. So this situation is what you make it. Communicate clearly. One more card. Get more information. Wait, then we we saw that all over the two spreads. Wait, like this is a lot of waiting and looking at things from a different perspective. Um, let's see what the butterfly oracle card have to say about what you should be focused on going forward. What should Aries be focused on going forward? And we're gonna clarify the butterfly oracle cards over at the website to see. relationship dynamics like I said for some of you it's divorce and separation something you're getting you're going to the dynamics of a particular relationship has changed my way of someone entering exiting a relationship there being more than two people in a relationship feelings have changed um, reservations about the relationship have changed the dynamics of it have changed. The makeup of the relationship has changed for whatever reason. Windfall, yes, yes, yes. Some of my Aries are waiting on that money. I'm in uh, Aries rising, so I'll take that. We'll take that. Windfall, so that's a windfall of good luck money um, will clarify at the website new career like I said it's, for some of you it might be entrepreneurship like the capsina two of cups of course you know that's love but also you have the um, it's not in this deck it's in the right away Torah um, forget the name of it anyhow you, you it of course, the Two of Cups talks about the emotional exchange. Like, you know, you giving love, I'm giving love. Well, it's mutual. It could be a successful relationship. But the Nine of Pentacles talks about being restless in your current position because you have a business idea. And then we have new career. And then we have the Two of Cups twice uh, in two different decks. It talks about um, merchant you know the changing of hands of you know I'm selling they give me money I'm buying you know I'm getting a product uh, that's what the two of cups is about same as love you're giving love I'm receiving love I'm, I'm you know so something like that for some of my Aries it's not gonna resonate for everybody but anyhow uh, we got two more and then we're out of here what should Aries be concerned with moving forward? Aries, your energy is real, like, just, you know, solid. It's not, I'm not jittery. I'm not, you know, anything. You're stronger than you know. You did have a strength card. Let's see. 
that one more. Very clear energy. You even have communicate clearly. Forgiveness again in two different decks, guys. Of self or somebody. Somebody might come back and offer apology. We did have the Hermit card with the Three of Cups. Let's drill down on this forgiveness over at the website to see if there's something or someone returning, okay? Um, keep in mind, the extended read is only $2. If you are not at a place where you can afford a personal reading for yourself, take advantage of the extended read. It's $2 to gain just a bit more clarity about your situation, especially if the reading is resonating with you thus far. Uh, Aries, know that I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Continue to comment below because I'm going to choose some people to get a free reading. Also, um, I'm doing my life coaching classes, so I want to, you know, kind of um, test that out with some people. So if you have real issue that you want to resolve, not you want to just talk to me about how Jack keeps cheating and he's been cheating for 10 years. Okay, um, we can talk about it, but if you have real issue that you want to resolve, if you have real life goals and you're trying to get somewhere, life coaching, business coaching also, um, I am a small business owner. Um, it's a reputable company that you've probably heard of. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think it's going to be good for me. I hope it's going to be good. I hope that I can help some other people too. I have helped some people too. Um, especially with business coaching. But life coaching all together. Um, grief work. For some of you, you need to forgive. Forgiveness. Um, you need to grieve a situation. You've pushed it down. Some of you, you do grief work. You're a social worker. Uh, caregiver, healer, uh, therapist, uh, tarot card reader, grief work. Okay. All right. So Aries, meet me over on the other side. I think it's going to be pretty good. Okay. This is a really good reading. Um, thank you, Aries. Take care. Bye.